I'm just thinking since this is Valentine period, I'm actually thinking if we talk about sex, you know, it's it's one thing that um, is is being avoided in many pulpits today. So, but I think we need to to discuss it and to talk about it. All right. So um, come along and join me. Let's talk. To be doing what? You're invited, just come around, let's talk about this matter. <laughs> so, who are you? Who are you clapping for now? Jesus. It's good. It's good. No, I thought you were clapping for you. No, it's God, it's Jesus. it's Jesus. You're looking good. This is, uh, this is uh, what is it called now? This is, this is wine. So, what's informing your color today? Well, you know, in, in the spirit of the season, <laughs> we need to have that touch of um, um, the color that represents. That the, the, the word used to represent love. Okay. You know, it's, it's interesting. The blood of Jesus. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking about the blood of Jesus. <laughs> the blood of Jesus. <laughs> like emotional, you know, yes. all things away. Yes. That's cool. So you're welcome. You're Thank welcome. You. I'm going to say you're welcome to be in the entertainment show. <laughs> Only for me to remember that this is letter from my father live. Mm -hmm. And then today we, we are looking at the, the very, very important subject. Uh, of sex, sexual purity, sexual immorality, and all of that. You know that um, there was this, I can't remember that particular year now, but she, more than two years that somebody came up to me on, on, on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> and the person said, Why are you talking about sexual purity? That sexual purity is not scriptural. Hmm. You know? And I was like, Ah. <laughs> not to worry, lady. Sexual purity is not scripture, I said, gee, that was all the message of Jesus. And she kept rolling out different kind of scriptures. And everybody that came, you know, on the comment section to say, no, look at the Bible, look at she would just go and attack. Mm. And I saw that this person is not just ordinary. At some point, I didn't have a choice than to just block her because she was attacking and using abusive language. Mm. So Toby is sexual purity. No scripture? Um, it is scriptural, it is Jesusic, yeah. <laughs> it is Christianic, it is spiritic, like oh my, my brother would say. It is, it is. In fact, it amazed me while God was giving me the word to the word to guide my life that I found the word, the word sexual purity in the Bible. Mm. First Timothy chapter 4 verse. 12. Okay. When the Bible was talking about let no one look down really because you are a young All person. right, all right. If you read common English version, it's listed it in love, in communication. Yeah. The last thing listed there is sexual purity. Wow. Sexual wow. purity. Wow. So wow. God is interested in our you know, uh, I mean, for, 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 for me personally, I, I have seen a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of scriptures, a lot of times in the Bible. Look at mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 13, for instance, talking about, you know, uh, marriage is honorable. honorable amongst all, and the bed must not be defiled, but fornicators uh, and adulterers, God. God will judge. Fornication is set before marriage, and adultery is. Uh, sex within marriage with another person that is not your spouse so before and after with another person is forbidden by god mm -hmm. and you know the word of god actually makes it clear that every other sin is outside of the body mm -hmm. but is it this particular one i don't know why god has put this you know some people say all sin you know sin are sin you know mm -hmm. accepted but somehow when you look at the scriptures in this particular mm -hmm. one there is something about it. Mm. There is something about it. You know, when we when we're younger, I I I, I visited the, the 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 king's palace in Akure. Then I was in Aquinas College, Akure, with my friend uh, Oyewade Oshorori. I remember that time. You know, we were artists. We, we would draw, do some artwork, and we're going to different places. You know, mm. visiting the House of Assembly, giving artworks to honorables, and sometimes they give us money. We visited the then governor of Ondo State, mm. Governor Adekunle Ajashi, you know. In fact, when the president that time, Shagari, was visiting Akure, mm. you know, the governor told us, you know, uh, that the president will be visiting, we should do some of our artworks. Mm. And we did. And lo and behold, we appeared before the president. Wow. Unfortunately, no picture to prove mm. it. But the man shook us and shook the hands of Shagari, you know. And my friend, we were there. 
You know, so we visited many places, including the palace of the king. And I remember before we got in, they told us how to behave, mm. you know, how to prostrate for the king and all of that. You know, the king's palace is like a sacred place. Mm. It's a place where you can't, you, even if you're eating granite outside, mm. you have to drop everything yes, to just appear. You know, even if you were insane, you must have been insane before the king. Yeah. Everything must be all right. You have to sit and comport yourself. You know, that is the palace of the king. And the understanding that God gave me is that there is a king of kings. Mm. Our Lord, our Savior, our Master. You know, when we talk about this message of sexual purity, we are not even talking to unbelievers. We are not talking to people that are outside. What they need is to accept Jesus Christ. It is for believers. Mm. Because right now, God does not dwell in the temple that is made with human hands. True, sir. Where does he dwell? In our That's bodies. Amazing. My analogy is actually that this king of kings dwells in a palace, which is your body, mm. which is my body. Yeah. And if I could, even as a secondary school child, comport myself in the palace of the king, I can't say I am pressed. Mm. No matter how pressed, pressed. you are, <laughs> you can't say you remove your trousers and we in the palace of the king. Outside. You cannot do that. You must excuse yourself and go outside. Mm. To do that, how much more where the king of kings dwells, which is your body. Mm. And there is nothing that defines the body mm. more than sexual immorality. Mm. God frowns at it. Mm. You know? Yeah, he said we can have sex. But, you know, there's a, is a caveat, they call it. Mm. On it, that if, you know, sex is like a product. Mm. And in every product, there's always a manual. Yes. You know, there's, there's a manual for this phone, for instance. There's a manual for anything new that you buy. Yes. All right? So sex as a product made by God. In fact, the idea of sex was not man. God owned the idea. It's like a patent right to it. Mm. Okay? God thought of it. God gave it to man. Made us sexual being. Mm. You know? God is awesome. But it now says that this product that I'm giving you, before you can make use of it, get married. This is a condition. Yes, get married. I think it's, it's that simple. Mm. If you want to use it, get married. Before you drive a car, get a license. Sure. People drive without license. Yes, sir. You know, and sometimes it's like mm -hmm. they are free until a law that enforces that will come after them. Mm. And say, so you don't have your license. You will be penalized, but this time around, it is more, more, more serious. So, sexual purity is the will of God. Get me right. Your body is the temple mm. of the spirit of the living God. Your body is the temple of God, and God wants you to keep it pure mm. in sexual purity. Mm. To be your take. Yes, I, I, I think I'm learning something. I want I, I want us to really look at that part PBO said, the illustration of the palace. Yeah. I think we should also, it is scriptural. I, I now understand why the Bible emphasizes on the fact that our body is the temple of God. Mm -hmm. And I think a temple is sacred and a palace. Very serious. Very serious. Temple. Is sacred. You know, when you hear the word temple, what comes yes. to your mind? <laughs> yes. Temple is sacred, sir. Yeah, very, very sacred. Because Temple, the priests, when they enter into the inner, the holies of holies, yeah. even if they see if the priest is carrying, is carrying a sin, mm. he can't come out alive. Mm. Mm. That's how a temple is sacred yeah. than the palace you just illustrated yeah. for us. I, when you talk about temple, you talk about a place of worship. Yes. A place of holiness. Yes. A place of sacredness. Yes. You know, that kind of a thing. That's what comes to your mind. Yes. So now the word of God is saying that our bodies yes. are the temple of God. Mm. It's a serious matter. Yes, sir. It's a very serious matter. We, 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 who lives in the palace? The king. The okay. king. But this is our palace. is. Is where the King of Kings inhabits himself. In how, can, how, can, how can Jesus Christ choose your body as where he wants to live? Not to visit, yeah. but to live yes. on a perpetual basis. Yes. Just, just to tabernacle there. Yes. Hearing is my palace where yes. my is. That is where he dines. That is wow. where he sleeps. Wow. He has different compartments. Archive. If only we can understand what we are carrying. Some people, you are not just carrying two-story building. Mm. 
because God can decide to climb some stairs to be alone. You know, yeah. I'm too much used to this. Or stay so, in boys quarter. Yes. Mm-hmm. So if you know that, then I think we should understand that we don't have the right mm. to use this body our yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. You know, God. There, there, there is something that God does not want us to do, but He does. Mm. You know that. Mm. God doesn't want us to be jealous, but He's a jealous God. Mm. <laughs> True. You know, He's a jealous God. He see that He has the whole of you or none of you. Mm. You know, you can't you can't share your body with Him and say, okay, God has this part. Mm. You know, let me have this part. He wants everything. Mm. Or nothing. That is to say, of God. it's not just our holy hands yeah. that God needs yeah. to be holy. Okay. He even needs our hearts. Our hearts. He needs the search. His purity has to do with everything. Exactly. So we should not we should not neglect a past that oh, I just use this hand to worship God. Now I use my mouth to sing. Is mm. interested. So it is. It is. I, I strongly believe that it is. The will of God, sexual yeah. purity is a plan of God. It's a special design. I, I, I was, I was, um, I was spreading a video, okay, talking about sexual purity. I posted it one of the years we were celebrating sexual purity. Okay, what sexual it, purity? Yes, and, and the man of God said, we have so many um, people with anointed hands, mm. but their loins are not controlled. Well, wow. well, wow. so. I think all of our body should be anointed. Mm. None should be separated. Yeah. Yeah. God lives in everything. The scripture did not say, uh, uh, my temple is your hand. Mm. Body, and according to um, biology, your digestive system is part of your body. Yeah. Your reproductive system is part of, is part of your body. Yeah. So we should not come and Try to be smarter than God. Yeah, and some people there's a way they just uh, justify it, mm. you know, and say after all this, after all, out of self defense, out of self defense, they say all manner of things to defend sin. I know the nature of sin is that what kills about snake is not about the size; mm. it's about the venom. Yes, sir. So small snake can kill. Yes, as much as the big snake. Mm. All right. So we should run away from everything that is sinful. It is not about, okay, God knows my heart, mm. you know. Some people even preach and say that it's your spirit that God born again. Anything that you do with your body does not matter. Mm. And God wants everything, 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 everything. You know, till today, I still think so much about this woman in the Bible called Mary. Mm. I can't just stop thinking about her. Mm. Mary Joseph in courtship. Mm. And lo and behold, God has a plan. Mm. Before the beginning. You know, the Bible started with in the beginning. Mm. There was something before the beginning. Mm. You know, in the beginning started us. But what about before the beginning? Alright? So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and all of that and all of that. We saw how Adam and Eve sinned against God and how God said some things, you know, uh, rolled out some curses, you know, against them, you know, and then when they got to the devil, that's a serpent, they told say the seed of the woman is going to bruise your head. Mm-hmm. That was the first time the prophecy about the birth of Jesus came, and God attached it and said the seed of the woman, not the seed of a man, is a man that carries seed. Mm-hmm. So the pronunciation of God was 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 a confusion to the kingdom mm-hmm. of darkness. How can a woman carry seed? Mm-hmm. You know, so but eventually, when we go to Isaiah, we saw the explanation. Mm. He said, A virgin shall conceive. So, the woman that the Bible was talking about in the book of Genesis was not just an ordinary woman, but a virgin. He said, A virgin shall conceive. Mm. Now, look at from Genesis, the prophets, Mm. you know, I'm singling it, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping it on the the, 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 the prophet Isaiah when he said it, you know, and then we get to. Uh, getting to the to the New Testament, yes, yes. we now saw how God called Gabriel mm. and sent him as a courier mm-hmm. to go deliver the message to a virgin called Mary. Mm. Mary's birth was not extraordinary. Mm. 
There was no prophecy about his birth. Yes, we didn't know anything. No angel came to the mother. Mm. She was just born like any, any other, other person. person. Number one. Then number two, God wanted to choose a virgin mm. that was spoken about in Genesis and the prophets. And God decided to choose a virgin that was in a love relationship. Mm. Till today, I say, God, why? Mm. And you see, as a young man, listen to me, as a young woman, this Valentine period, if you think, oh, I am holy, I am strong, nothing can happen, please don't overrate yourself. Yes, Anybody sir. can fall. Yes, sir. Sexual immorality is not a respect of bishop's cap. Anyone mm. can fall. Yes, Never you overrate yourself. Stay in your lane. Avoid what the Bible says you should avoid. Mm. Stay with God. All right? So, now, <laughs> she was in a love relationship. Courtship is a time in your life. If you have not been in courtship, hear me. Hear me. If you're in courtship, listen to me. Because when you get there, very, very, I tell you, I lie not to. It's going to be a very challenging period of your life. Very challenging. Because you are behold, you are with this lady, you are with this young man. You love yourself so much. Mm. And then you are reading one Bible, one certain Bible that says, don't touch. Mm. Don't kiss. Don't do all this stuff. Like some people will say, where is it written in the Bible that thou shalt not no, kiss? kiss? They want to see everything written <laughs> in the Bible. Now, let me ask you, where is it written in the Bible that thou shalt not smoke? Have you seen it before? But should you smoke as a child of God? Why is it, where is it in the Bible that thou shalt use a mobile phone or use a camera to shoot? <laughs> it is not in the that Bible. Was but what is the mind of God concerning this? What are the things that we have read in our scripture? Mm. You know, the Bible has told us about sexual immorality. And there are things that lead to it. It does not just happen. It's one step after another step, after another step, after another step. Then boom. You are there. Mm. I pray that God will save us this time. But at the end of the day, God still chose me. Mm. You know, because checking her inside out. In fact, when the angel said, You're going to conceive and have a child, mm. she okay. was like, What are you talking about? You said, You said, What? <laughs> he said, How can this be mm. seeing that I have never known a man? Wow. Very instructive. Mm. Very, very instructive. So I don't know. I don't know. There's a vision coming your way. There is something that God wants to do in your life. But will you make yourself presentable? Will you make yourself qualified? You know, everything that God needed to do, He has done. It is you that will make use of the grace of God to stand mm. in sexual purity. Mm. But one thing you must learn today and you must take very seriously is that sexual purity is the will of God. I don't know whether you want to add anything. Yes, I, I also want to add that in this time, in this Valentine period, as we are trying our best to, to be sure that we are intact, sexual purity wise, let us be intentional to speak out. Yeah, one minute. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let us be intentional to speak out concerning sexual purity you know you know for me when i when i speak out i am putting myself i am putting myself in a kind of um, i don't know how to describe this now you know when, when you publicly say i am a child of god yeah. that word will be taken against you so i'm putting myself inside a a a, a very good body mm. I am putting it in my head. I have said that sexual purity is the will of God. So I know that if I go against sexual purity, yeah. my word will be taken against me. Yeah. So one of the ways to conquer this thing is to publicly declare it. Yeah. Yeah. And the world we are, those that are doing the opposite of sexual purity, yeah, it's no more idiom. They, 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 they don't care what you think about them. They yeah. do whatever they want to do and they put it on your face. Yes. Some of them even, they are so bold that they post their state. 
they, they post their status, they post what they are doing, the immorality, they post it. Some of them go, they have communities. Wow. Some of them go to, 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 they go live. So why can't we speak out? Hmm. Why can't you eat? I, I don't think sexual purity is a message of um, don't do. We need to, as believers, we need to add the fact that it is it is the will of God. Yeah. It's not just a movement by some. Yeah, it's not a movement. It's not just doing. It's not just. It's not just saying it for looking for what to say. Mm-hmm. It is the mind of God. It is the yes. will of God. You know, if you cannot be sexually pure, I'm sorry to say, God cannot use you. Mm. Because that's one of the least, mm. you know, the, 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 the vessel that God will use should be holy. And everything that you need, He has already given to you yes, sir. to be holy. The Bible says that sin will not have dominion mm. over you. Mm. Now, if, if sin is having dominion over you, that means Jesus has died in vain. Mm. The Bible says it was made manifest mm-hmm. that it may destroy all the works of the devil. Mm-hmm. So if the works of the devil is still is still is still taking toll in your life, then what has happened to you? Mm-hmm. What has happened? But now you have opened another chapter altogether mm-hmm. about how to deal with sexual immorality. <laughs> and one of them is to speak out. During this Valentine period. Toby, I remember when I was in the campus. When I was in the campus, when I just gave my life to Christ. Mm-hmm. Because where I was coming from, the devil has dealt so much with me, and I decided to take a bite of my flesh back from the devil. I decided to pepper the devil. I decided to mm-hmm. do all out for Jesus Christ, which I did. Mm. So, any room I'm posted to, as I get there on my space, I put different posters on the wall. Mm-hmm. You must be born again, repent or perish. Mm-hmm. Different kind of posters. So that you know, see, this is this is this is this is place you put yourself that even if you are being tempted, you know that Omo, mm-hmm. I can't go there. Yes, I have declared it. Yes, it's one of the ways yes. you I, know. I have crossed the bridge. Not only that, I have burnt it. the bridge. So if I'm going back, I'm ready to die. That is the point. That is the point. To talk about it, you preach about it. Mm-hmm. Let's also learn how to push that people's face mm-hmm. because it's about your life. Mm-hmm. And this is what God wants you to do. So why won't you just obey mm-hmm. and just do the will of God? Mm-hmm. And just do the will of God. This is what God is demanding from all of us this season. Please do it. Mm-hmm. Please do it. If you honor God, if you love God enough, when some people will ask, so what is your motivation talking about this? Why sexual purity? My answer is simple because God said it. Mm. Because God said it. I don't need any other reason. Mm. You know, apart from the fact that it's just good for me. I am keeping, you see, sexual purity is 100% safe. There's mm. no side effects. Mm. There's no side effects. You know, you go to hospital, you are sick. As a lady, as someone is saying, let's do pregnancy tests. You'll be laughing. Mm. Because you know that it's not, it's not someone that has sex that will be pregnant. Mm. You know, or sexually transmitted disease. And all of that, and all of that. So please, and sex, I tell you, is one of the deepest physical things that anybody can do with his body. You are naked from top down. Mm. And that before a man or a woman that you are not married to? Mm. Come on. How do you face God? Mm. How do you even face yourself? Mm. What kind of conscience do you have? Mm. And you see, some of them will still come to church and lift up only hands unto the Lord and say they're worshiping God. Please, I condemn you not. It's a time to repent and seek the face of God. Mm. You may have been there. In fact, you may have even played the lot before. Mm. But you see, the Bible says, when any man is in Christ, mm-hmm. you see, all things have passed away. You can allow all those old things to pass away so that you can start afresh. There's always room to start again as long as you have life. You can always start again, mm. and God is always willing to help you. Mm. To help you, just that don't allow it to delay it because sometimes uh, the repercussion in our body sometimes we carry some scars, mm. even though God has forgiven, God has redeemed, but some scars you know, we carry it till death mm. scars of foolishness. Mm. You know, I pray that God will help us. Yoruba will say, Would you have bad? Meaning, <laughs> the, 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 the scar part of your body can never yeah. look like the original skin. 
without the scar. Yeah, so this Valentine period, I know the struggle is much, even as believers, the struggle is much. But PBO says something that sexual activity is a product that does not have side effects. They will sell parasamot to you and they will still put some instructions. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you, you you must use you must use also thing for so age. You cannot overuse sexual purity. No, no, it's not. <laughs> you you just continue. I am speaking to you as someone like you. Yes, you might have there, there is plans for there is there, there are plans for every kind of person, yeah. no matter how deep you have gone, Jesus Christ is ready to pick you up again. Mm. So we, we understand yeah. some struggles. We have been there. But then, would we continue? Scripture says, shall we continue, continue in sin and the grace of God should abound? Yoruba Bible says, rara, kamari. kamari. <laughs> that should not happen. So please, let, let's now make a deal, my friends, my brothers, my sister. Is it possible for someone to just decide that this Valentine period, this Valentine period will be the time I will start to mark, observe, yeah. and appraise my stand in sexual purity. I will start to celebrate one year. Okay. One so, year of absolute sexual purity. Yes. Two years of absolute sexual purity. Let it be a routine. Yeah. Ah, I give you, I have met people. I met a sister friend of mine okay. that said she told God, I just heard this some weeks ago. She said she told God that God, me, I was still forming that, ah, God, any friend that wants me to go into immorality, God, separate me from that friend. Do you know what this, my sister friend said? She said, any, any time I go into sexual immorality, kill me. Hey! I that said a, this. That was a prayer. Yes. Mm. I said this is another level of commitment. Altogether. Like I said, you can't take over those of sexual. I you know. You know what such people don't, don't die. Yes, so Don't die. They have put their life on the Yes. Place, you know, for God. It's either I stand for God or for God. Or for God. You know. It's so God we can God. make a mark of Valentine's Day when people are going up and down to do this. That you are celebrating a year. Yeah. Two years, yeah. three years of standing show in sexual purity. Mm. Mm. I think that's that's quite very important. That's quite very important. And then uh, um, sexual sexual impurity or sexual immorality is not just about fornication. Mm. I think that's another aspect yes. that uh, we may need to just um, touch mm. before we wrap up. It's not just about fornication. There are different aspects. Yes. You know, some pastors are still talking about fornication, oh, don't fornicate, mm-hmm. but some of our young people, they have gone past fornication yes. long ago. Mm-hmm. They do cyber sex, they do phone sex. You know, there was this one I had, simulated sex. Mm-hmm. Have you had that one before? Mm-hmm. Simulated sex. Great. When people have sex and they are fully clothed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, this generation has corrupt corruption. This generation yeah, has, uh, of this. It's, yeah. it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. All manner of things. People have sex without contacting anybody physical. Mm. Everything is in their phone. Everything is in their room. Why their parents are thinking that, oh, my daughter is in the room. Oh, she does not even go out. Mm. But she's not in that house with you. Mm. Because of the kind of things that she does with her phone. Mm. Because of the kind of things that he does with his phone. You know, so uh, some people can even still claim virginity. Mm. You know. They are like technical virgins, mm. all right? The sex organ. And look, look, listen to me, guys, especially. Mm. When, when, when we talk about virginity, we are not referring to girls only. Yes, sir. Uh, it concerns you. Now, see, there, there's this revelation that God gave me that I, I seldom talk about. You know why the focus seems to be on the lady? It's because the lady is symbolic of the body. All right, the man, the head, the lady is the body. Jesus Christ is coming for the church with a wrinkle. That's like the lady. The lady. He's coming to marry the church without wrinkle. All right, we talk about sexual purity. We talk about purity for the body, for the church. You are not talking about purity for Christ because for His own, it's not just an assumption. It is automatic. Mm. Can you? 
Can you be preaching sensuality to Jesus Christ? Mm-hmm. Can you be preaching? Jesus Christ is purity personified. Yes. That is what God is expecting from every man. Mm. Every man, as a man, purity should be your lifestyle. Mm. So when we're talking about virginity, it's not just being re- we are not referring just to ladies, you know, because you know, because it's like because God has not put you know a kind of a cover mm. to your sex organ like that of a woman that are, he, he has put hidden there, you know. So you think that you can just gallivant and do anything that you want with your sex organ? No, you don't do that, sir. All right. So now coming back to the issue. There are different forms of sexual immorality. So it's not just your technical virginity that God is looking mm. for. God is looking for sexual purity as a whole. Mm. Fornication is just a branch of a mighty tree that is called yes. sexual immorality. Just one tiny branch. Mm. There are other ones. There are other ones. Keep your heart pure. That's mm. what the Bible says. That's what the word of God says. If your heart is pure, it will ooze out. It will come out mm. and permeate through every other thing through your conversation on your phone with that opposite sex and mm-hmm. in the middle of the night purity will be there mm-hmm. you know through what you do on the internet purity will be there you don't say something just flash as it's flashing you are deleting thank god for those three doors that you can always click yes. and delete you know from your site or, the, or, or say i am not interested mm-hmm. so you know there's a way that's Kai, may God help us, may God help this generation. You know, I used to tell my children when I was like you, when I was like you, but now mm. I discovered that I was never like them. Mm. Because when we were younger, we didn't see all this madness that we are saying today. True. That's just the truth. Because now, if you mistakenly was something that looks like, it's not completely like sexual immorality, you know, but maybe a guy kissing a girl, you know, maybe just a peg. Now, the algorithm, of Instagram and some other social media platform believes that you like it mm. and then it will not be coming on your phone it will be suggesting such mm. till it will take you deeper you know, say we always take you deeper than where you want to go to just say, okay, let me do this one small and then I will stop at this level it's a lie, mm. don't be deceived mm. oh, we will peck, we will not kiss mm. okay, we will kiss, it will be French kiss, mouth to mouth Okay, we will do mouth to mouth, we will not hug. Okay, we will hug, we will not touch. Okay, we will touch, we will not... Until you finish the process. That is how God has created this body. The body will never be satisfied at a level. It will always want more and more and more. So the best way to do it is not to do it. Mm. The best way to do it is not to do it. Don't just try it. Let me say it again. The best way not to do it. It's not to do it. That's, it's as simple as that. Otherwise, once you start, until you remove your shirts, your mind will not come down. Mm, like if you <laughs> say, it's possible you are even praying to God, like, God, I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, God. To do it. And you are <laughs> say, I don't want to do it. You are like, hey, only one we'll half mercy of that generation. You have passed the level that you are not supposed to pass. Mm. You know? That's what happens. That's what happens. So please. Let's borrow our self sense this season. Let's let's just borrow our self sense and make sure that we do the right thing. Yes. Sir. And make sure that God is glorified in us. God wants to be proud of us. Mm. You know, He wants to He wants to say, "This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased." That is the bottom line, and I pray that God will help us. Mm. So let's shun sexual immorality. Mm. Let's embrace sexual purity. Why? It is the will of God yes. for you and for me. The Bible says, and this is the will of God concerning mm. you that you should abstain from sexual immorality. Mm. All forms of sexual mm. immorality. Nobody may even say this, 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 and number one, number two, mm. number three. In your heart, if you're a child of God, you know when you are doing something that is wrong. Mm. Why? The Spirit of God is there within you to guide you. Mm. When you're saying doing something that is wrong, Something tells you that this is not right, my son. I pray that we listen to God and I pray that God guides us mm-hmm. in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your last word on this? I just want to thank everybody. I hope we have made your Valentine period um, a great one. Please help us share this message this time. That don't postpone it. Don't postpone it. Someone needs to hear this. Very, very this seriously. Very, very seriously. So please help us share it around. Suggest it to people. Yeah. Like this, especially. See, 
the devil does not want this message to be liked. Mm. But when you help us to like it, another person too will like it yeah. and it keeps spreading. If there is one message we need to keep liking, this one especially in this season. Especially the generation that we are living in. Mm. It's so, it's, things are so crazy mm. right now. Things are so crazy. A lot of things are going on. Sometimes your children are even introducing them. Yes, yeah, the, the, the curriculum, the academic curriculum has been changed. A whole to lot of things. Them to invest them into the sense of the future. Kai. Kai. Their imagination has been has been changed, has been carved ahead of time, ahead of the scene to come. Mm. May God help this generation Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. So thank you very much. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you. Uh, one of these days we're going to talk about, you know, <laughs> we're going to talk about why is it to be a that about five brothers who go up the post to one sister? Five <laughs> brothers. That's brother A, brother B, brother C, brother D, and brother E. Mm. They will go to one sister, <laughs> you know, at different times, maybe within a month, and all of them are saying, God said, God said, God said, God hey. said. I think it's a topic that we need to Yes, uh, We'll be looking at that. How many lots? Uh, how many lots are we saying? Are saying. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. God, how many lots are saying? It's okay. Are you sure that God spoke to you? Deeply. <laughs> it's all right. We'll be looking at that topic uh, sometime soon. So please don't forget um, sending your questions. Yes. The issues that you want us to treat here, the questions that you want us to answer. Yes. We are willing to answer them. All right. Thank you very much. You can use the email that you see on your screen um, or in the in the comment section. Thank you very much. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Brother PBO. Brother Toby. <laughs> I celebrate you. <laughs> I celebrate you. Sir. I celebrate you. I celebrate you. I celebrate you. I celebrate you.